Hey everybody, Mark's with the comics and I'm back. This time I got a small stack of books, a couple weeks worth of hunting. If you're interested in seeing what I picked up, stay tuned for that intro. Alright, so welcome back. If you haven't already, please don't forget to like, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell notification so when I do put out some content, you get it in a timely fashion. Like I said, Got a small stack of books here, um, probably a couple weeks worth of books from uh, hunting just out in the wild. Went to an LCS about 20 minutes from here and also went to another LCS in Connecticut. Um, I believe that was in Danbury. Uh, no, sorry, not Danbury, Danielson, Danielson, Connecticut. I'll put the, um, the description for both comic shops down below. If you're ever in the area, please feel free to check them out. They're pretty cool, cool shops, and the uh, the owners are very nice. Um, so both of these, um, the one in Connecticut, I ended up going with my son. He was uh, in search of some um, Sonic the Hedgehog books. And if you've grown up reading Sonic the Hedgehog or if you're familiar with the run, they're uh, quite difficult to find nowadays in the wild, especially like you know intact and complete. Um, been looking for quite some time. Ended up, uh, even when I went to a, the, the, a recent Comic Con, couldn't find them anywhere. So uh, I was pleasantly surprised to find some when I went there. And um, I'm going to show you what I picked up. So in no particular order, we got Sonic the Hedgehog, issue number 181. Um, this could be your first appearance, I'm not sure. It says, who is Enerjack? Um, not really sure if that's the character there on the page, on the, um, uh, on the cover as well. And it is a new stand. Um, if you're familiar with these, uh, this was done, the, uh, Sonic the Hedgehog series was done by Archie Comics. And, um, you know, I got these all for, uh, cover price, just so you know as well. So I was, uh, really surprised. I was looking in the kids section just to see what they had. And they had a whole stack of Sonic books. Um, I'll show you another one. And uh, if you watched, I was, um, I jumped in uh, Steve, Bert, uh, Bert Family's uh, live chat, Thursday night chat, last week. So if you were in there, you're, you've probably already seen these books. I showed these off already. But uh, for the people who are not watching, you'll be watching this for the first time. So um, Sonic, this is um, a different series within the Sonic the Hedgehog universe. This is from um, Sonic Universe, issue number 59. So this is towards the end of the series. This is a pretty big key. This is first appearance of Eclipse, the Darkling. And um, I don't believe he's on the, no, he's not on the cover. But uh, this is a, a pretty valuable key. And it's also a newsstand. Got this also for a cover price. All of these kids' books were in the, um, in the kids' section for, for cover price. Uh, this is a cool one because I grew up playing the Sonic the Hedgehog game, and I was a big fan of this character. And uh, this is Knuckles. So um, this is Knuckles, the Dark Legion number one. This is his first solo, and it's also in the stand. So that's pretty cool. Nice cover. I like the cover art on that. Um, out of the bunch, this is my favorite cover. Because this reminds me of the uh, Sega Genesis uh, video game covers. And this is Sonic the Hedgehog issue number 229. Also a newsstand. Which I'm pretty surprised. These are all newsstand copies. Um, nothing significant about this. You do see Sonic the Hedgehog here in gold. Um, but it's just a really neat you know, video game cover. And right around the time when they released these, there was a bunch of different video game covers. Um, I think from the different series. So this was my, uh, like I said, my favorite one that I picked up. One of the earlier Sonic, um, from, you know, the earliest one that I got. This is Sonic the Hedgehog, issue number seven. And you can see he's speeding through the, uh, right through the books. You can see a, a Sonic in this one, this is, you can tell it's early Sonic because he, he has that little, you know, little cutesy vibe to him in the, in the drawing itself. Versus, uh, for example, if you see... Something later on, he looks a little bit more, uh, a little different, a little more aggressive. 
That's when you got a little cutesy vibe, if you, if you know what I'm saying. But um, Sonic the Hedgehog issue number seven. All right, so I'm back. Uh, second take here. So uh, <laughs> right as I was finishing up showing uh, this Sonic the Hedgehog number seven, the uh, light from the uh, behind the laptop actually fell down and crashed. So <laughs> now I'm back at it again. So uh, that was my earliest Sonic the Hedgehog book. And then the... Um, and then what else did I got here? Oh yeah, so um, also picked up uh, Sonic the Hedgehog issue number 239. This also has like that kind of like gamer uh, cover to it. I like that really nice, uh, just a simple cover. Um, also picked up this, this was a uh, number one. And uh, this was always a fun, fun TV show, Smurfs number one. Um, I think this came out in the 80s yeah based on the tv show i also got that for cover price and then so that's what i got at that one shop when i went with my son and then the second one ended up um going to a shop closer to me uh like i said i'll put the information down this was a uh, green dragon uh, green dragon comic shop in uh in Burville. and um this one was i ended up stumbling upon one of the days I went there to do some hunting with my son, didn't get anything, but I ended up uh, making a connection with the owner's pa uh, father. And uh, he's a, an older comic dealer. And he was like, well, you know, I don't always put my nicer stuff in here because the crowd doesn't really go for that. They were, you know, mainly going for the new comic book day stuff and uh, some of like the newer back issues. And they basically also ca catered to the uh, magic the gathering collectors as well so you know i think it was friday or saturday nights they do like a like an open invite to people who want to play magic the gathering so um they catered more to that the um the comic shop so um he didn't often put a lot of you know nice books like slabs and stuff like that he did have a few slabs on the wall like a wolverine one and uh some like you know spidey books in the 300s uh, but not asm 300 um so uh, I ended up talking to him on a Friday night. He was there. And I was like, yeah, I only come here on Fridays and Saturdays for the most part or when I need to fill in because it's my uh, kid's store. But um, if there was something you were looking for, you know, we'll s set up a schedule, you know, appointment. And um, I can, you know, bring in some of my older stuff. So uh, we did that one afternoon. Um, and we set it up for a Saturday morning. So I went in there. I think the week prior and uh, just stuck through some of his books he had some really nice bronze silver age um, books so I was like all right I'll I picked out a few so I'll show you what I got so first book new gods issue number one always wanted to pick up this um, this book this is uh, written by Jack Kirby also artwork done by Jack Kirby and you can tell on the cover very Kirby-esque just by the way that the uh, the drawing of the person there on the front. I believe it says Orion. Um, not sure. But I got to read it. I've never read this series. But I've always, like, I was a big fan of Jack Kirby. And this was always one of the series I wanted to get into. Especially for DC. So uh, tons of first appearances on this on this first issue. You got first Orion, High Father, Metron, Calabac, Light Ray. I think another one as well. Really nice copy. I want to say this is probably a VF, VF Plus. Ended up getting that for 100 bucks. It was pr pretty sweet, uh, if you ask me. Especially for uh, a Silver Age book from the 60s. In that condition. Um, next book. Ended up, um, I'm a big fan of the Strange Tales. Uh, if you know me, when I collect the uh, Silver Age, Strange Tales from Marvel is my favorite run. Tons and tons of great, great books on there. Um, great first appearances. Great writers and artists. And uh, this one on here speaks for itself. This is Strange Tales, issue number 138. And uh, this is the first appearance of Eternity. And uh, I, I like the Strange Tales, especially when it's like the cosmic characters. And there's a lot of cosmic characters, I believe, from, I want to say the mid-120s onward onto like, I think, 
50s, 160s. So um, this is a great, you know, like I said, a great cover as well. It's, uh, I think it's, who is this? Nick Fury? Yeah. Yeah, because this is featuring, uh, yeah, Nick Fury, Agent of S.H.I.E.L.D. And I believe uh, Nick Fury made his first appearance. I think it was the issue prior or the one before that as well. So early Nick Fury as well. Um, yeah, ended up getting this for 25 bucks. So I was like, score. He ended up giving me a great deal on all of these. You know, he, he was looking them up on FMV and he gave me like, I think it was a 10, 15% discount on that, you know. So I thought that was pretty fair. And then the last book ended up picking up, this is my second copy of this. And this is um, another DC book. This is Tales of the Teen Titans, issue number 44. If you're not familiar with this book, of course, this is the uh, first appearance of Jericho. No. <laughs> It is. It is First Appearance of Jericho, but this is also, uh, as you can see, this character right here. Nightwing. So uh, Dick Grayson becomes Nightwing in this book. And uh, you also got uh, Deathstroke on there as well, on the cover. This is great George Perez cover. And it's a great story, uh, if you haven't gotten a chance to read it, by uh, Marv Wolfman. So, uh, like I said... Really, really cool shops. If you ever get a chance to check them out, uh, I'll put them down in the description. One was in Danielson, Connecticut. The other one was in uh, Burrowville, Rhode Island. So uh, check them out. Um, if you like it, hit the thumbs up. Comment down below what you think about the pickups for the this week and then the week prior. Like I said, this was pickups from December, so I'm way behind on uh, shooting videos. So And I still have a stack of books to uh, show you some unboxings and so forth. So uh, hopefully you guys enjoy that. If you did, feel free to subscribe. And until next time, Mark's with the Comics, out.